Hello YouTube and welcome back to The Baron. And welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Uh, if you just skipped the last video, that was that's absolutely fine. Uh, episode 0 is me making my character. This is where the actual story starts. So, let's get in. We've arrived in Hong Kong. Let's do this. A bit slow there, game. There we go. Hong Kong, Drew Harbour, Ultimate 6, on suit. You step from the churning, uh, from the churning of the water taxi to the ponderous uh, rocking of the docks. Your stomach lurching at the transition. As soon as you're clear, the captain nods once and steers the small craft back into the harbour. The man never said a word. Just handed you a warm. Uh, a worn brown double bag when you stepped on board, filled with gear, some uh, specific new body armor, and note: better safe than sorry. D. Above, smog-thick clouds hang low in the sky, reflecting the light of the city in a nauseating swirl. The wind changes direction more than once, creating a heady stew of aromas: diesel, sea salt, street food, and filth. My favorite. It's all you can do to keep your in-flight meal where it belongs. Two figures stand waiting for you in the dim light to the pier. The first is an orc, lean, with in-your-face muscles and a jaw made to break fists. A jaw made? Jesus! The second is an elf, one hand resting casually against her hip. Raymond Black is nowhere to be seen. Ah, so this is Duncan. Uh, well don't you look like shit. Duncan Wu, the closest thing you have to a brother. You haven't seen the man in eight years, still as charming as ever. As you open your mouth, uh, green's not really your color, color cad. Doesn't go with your nice new armor I got you. <clears throat> you must respond to something shits a llama in your stomach, a liquid bubbling sensation. No. Uh, don't know what you're talking about, must be the harbor lights messing with you. Nice to see, look I, at least I'm not. I'm assuming gonna vomit if I pick any of those, so let's try and tough it out. Must be, guess you still got some of your old fortitude at least, he laughs. Considering how uh, much synthol, uh, synthol we used to put down, I'm, I'd be surprised if you couldn't handle a little chop. Yeah, everything is cybernetic, even the alcohol. Synthetic alcohol. Anyway, we've got to go find Raymond. I remember, I thought he'd be here. Where is he? Where's the old man? Never showed up. He's still got the same uh, baritone rasp. Had it since he was 12. We were developed early. Well, he's an orc. Did you try him on com? No clue where he might be. When was the last time you saw him? No sense standing around. To then, where's the meeting place? Not far, just on the other side of the pier here. He jabs a thumb behind him. Carter. The one standing beside him breaks in. We should get going, Duncan. Head to, back to the meeting point in case your dad shows up. Copy that, Sarge. They're wearing Lone Star body armor. Looks like Duncan Wu's gone private police. Sarge, you his girlfriend or something? You his partner? You his girlfriend? Oh, hell no! The corner of her mouth flicks upward in amusement. I'm his partner. So an orc and an elf. <laughs> okay. The woman taps the chest with an armoured finger. Carter. I mean I could use some backup. Didn't know what Raid got himself into and I wasn't sure you were going to show up. We tossed off a mark but in an, uh, there's an undercurrent of resentment in it. You got something you want to say? Well surprise, I'm here. Of course I showed up. You got something you want to say? Nope. She just said. Hey, look, I'm glad you're here, Cad. Seriously, but I'm going to need some time to get used to having you around again. Been a while since I heard from you, know what I mean? Memories of sleepless nights in lockup flash by, wondering if you'd ever see Duncan or Raymond again. Wondering if you even wanted to. And then, stepping out into the daylight, suddenly free, the fallout of some obscure corporate restructuring. A few hundred new yen worth of apology uh, from your former jailers, and a decision to start a new life. Leave the past behind, all of it, until now. I know we're out of touch. Yeah, we'll talk about it later, okay? I have my reasons. Can we leave it that for now? His goggles reflect in the harbour lights. Sure. He scans the waterfront, frowning. Let's just find Raymond. He was supposed to meet us in the plaza on the other side of the pier. The sooner we find him, the sooner we can well, have a big happy family reunion over dinner. Carter grins. And the sooner I can find a place to get a drink around here. Damn right. Ahead of you, Hong Kong rises like rises serpent light from the sea. Government and Megacorp coiled together, writhing in their basket of institutionalized corruption. 
No one can tell where the snake's body ends and its tail begins. That's what Raymond used to say. Duncan turns and starts down the pier. Carter follows. So, the actual writing is like playing in an RPG. Like a tabletop RPG written by a DM. So, that's what's quite nice about it. God, it's all a bit janky, isn't it? I see that's my setup, but it shouldn't be. That's me. So I've got an Uzi and a Doberman. Basic combat drone, every road should own at least once in their shadow career. Right, um, that's all the basics, don't need that. I'm kind of just looking for... I'm literally just looking for settings here. Ah, here we go. Uh, Edge perspective, full screen, post process. Maybe it's post process? Can we take off HD textures? Maybe you've seen a restart current scene for this. Performance issues on computers below minimum spec. If you experience issues with performance, please turn HD test off. A new scene or restart current scene. I'll tell you what, we'll take HD off and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so no real difference at the moment. Press control is bending harbour out of the water. Corporate insists can afford to create new streets. So currently nothing of any real interest. See, there shouldn't be a problem with my processing, because all my spec... I know I'm not using like a state-of-the-art computer, I wish I could afford Alienware. Um, but quite frankly, my computer's not even all that bad. Let's check out what's over here. That's just locked, so I don't have to worry about that. Love this music. Head towards the lock gate. The guard shack at the end of the pier is dark and empty. Duncan give, uh, gives the gate a push, but it doesn't budge. Hmm. Well, that was open earlier. Duncan frowns. It's pretty solid. Shouldn't there be someone here to let us out or something? Guess we'll have to find another way to reach the plaza. You, know, you bang your head against it hard enough, it'll open. Surely someone here to let us out. Yeah, it's also funny, don't it? Who knows, it's Hong Kong, I'm not really sure how things work around here. Come on, Rocky, we can cut through the Constitution site. I hate it when you call me that. So she called him Sarge earlier and Rocky now. Oh, hello, security checkpoint. Come on, Doberman. Yeah, my boy. But the nearby control panel appears accessible. Carter pulls it open with a metallic screech that pierces your skull, sending a new wave of pain down your churning stomach. Ah, oh, that bike guy's poor stomach. She examines the control panel for a moment, then throws Wu a backward glance. Looks like there's another way off the docks on the other side of the gate. I think I can bypass the lock. Let me take a crack at that. Carter says, sign and lets you get to the panel. Enjoy. In area, the security is light. You bypass the door circuit with ease. The gates rest, rattles open. Good to, uh, good to be a decker. Game saved. Okay, so here's where we are now. It's a construction site. I think I said constitution site though. Movement. Let me turn. Shouting in Cantonese. What Cantonese? Four of them. Group on the dock was fishing a package out on the speedboat when you surprised them. Now the package at the bottom of the bay and the speedboat is disappearing into the distance. They're closing your red face in the and the light of the harbour glints off the weapons as they approach. They just shout something Cantonese, but it's too fast for you to make out. You're rusty, it's been years since Raymond's house and the language lesson that wouldn't end. The old man never spoke anything but his native language at home. <coughs> Which was a his Cantonese is as solid as ever, he never let it drop. You guys doing some late night fishing? So, oh yeah, we're fishing, you assholes. Who points their weapons? 
you're going to need some better bait, or you're going to catch with this. This is that, that is trouble. Teaching that in rent a cop school. <laughs> We're just passing through. Why don't you put the guns away? Lone Star, lay down your weapons. I'm going to, whisper, I'm going to let Duncan take the lead on this. He's just small, starting on his face. Then he thinks better of it. Turns back to the smugglers. Lone Star, put the guns down. Once he was badge, then smiles his friends. Never seen a badge like that before. It's fake, or you're some kind of security guard. But either way, the, this ends the same. Ah. I'm gonna drink this time. I've got a drink with me, so my voice shouldn't crack so much. I think he's done talking. Okay. So here's where we actually get into the combat of the game. And the combat's where the game really does come alive. So you get one against uh, you wanna get around, spray and prey, or two attacks with less chance of critical, may hit Jason Carrick use six bullets. Again, like he's a street samurai as well. Headshot damage 9, 1 bullet. Let's try to take out that mage. Not like that. Carter. Okay, so she's a mage. That's good to know. Okay, nice to find cover. So those are all, these are all like one use items, these are like your item slots, and this is your actual ability. Nice! It's worth my token get a turn. Got to activate it, they're all aiming my token, it's fantastic. Ah, seriously Duncan? Baseball back to the face. Missed, good. And there we go. So it reduces how many turns I get, which, yeah, a bit of a pain. Seriously, look at this thing. Got a, a massive fucking gun. I got no issues. Take the thug. And let's aim for tattoo guy. Yep, yeah, got a couple of nice shots. I've got one more shot left. And ready for another punch to the face. Who to that? Let's take out the mage to kill a mage. And get hit. There we go. Shit grenade. Ooh. I did not like that damage I put. Okay, so right now my character really is my good when it comes down to long range. We should have actually gone for a rifle. It could be because of where I am. Ah, yeah, it was, okay. Nice. Two 
two magic bolts to use. Let's see if we take other damage. Nope, we can't. I heal. That's right. Got my drone really close. This one's one of the downsides to Riggers, to be honest. Because once you set your drone up, your drone kind of takes your attacks. So you can't really do as much. Limited are actually keeping it all alive. The moment we're doing the life for the most part. Tattoos. Hmm. So you might see a lot of like very common Japanese gangster film tropes and noir tropes because it's sort of based around that era. Your street drug made from an elite kamikaze formula has plus one bonus strength, plus one willpower for five rounds, and the user's attack strength increases. Okay. So that's something at least. Security checkpoint. Okay, panel. This one's been vandalized and busted up good. A real nightmare of a repair job. Who stares at the fence, considering loops and walls of razor wire glitter in the lamplight. Looks edged with manofilament. The corporations here don't screw around. I've plenty of fences before. I'll be fine. Why don't we just cut ourselves an opening? Mm, guess we're gonna find another way through. Why don't we just cut ourselves an opening? Even if we could, it'd snap back on you. Ever seen a high tension wire whip through a human body? You don't want to. We aren't touching it. How about a car? I think you can get the gate open. What do you think? So it'll take a few minutes though. Apparently, she needs a closer look at the mangled fuse box. A few seconds later, she starts pulling wires and eight fuses with intense concentration on her face. Which was a mate. Yeah, that's my question actually. In Cantonese. In Cantonese, Cad. He sounds like Raymond when he does that. Well, literally. The pen of my aunt is sitting on the end table. Satisfied? She's competent. In Cantonese, I thought she was a mage. Yes, yeah, she, uh, she is. Carter likes to know how things work. She used to be on the bomb squad. In Cantonese. We speak only Cantonese from now on, just like we did when we lived with Raymond's. Those endless drills are about to pay off. Just like at Raymond's. It's raised with the tongue from here on out. It's coming back, won't be a problem. At least you can still handle yourself in a fight. Without me, the Lone Star now say nothing. Lone Star. Lone Star is the private police force of Shadowrun. They are as corrupt as everyone else. That's the view. That's right. Are you what I've up to the past eight years? Nope. Sounds like when you get louder, heavier, then it's broken by a sudden wailing screech. Woo's hand goes to his holster. With the sound of grinding wheels, glancing over the console, you see Carter grinning back at you. Got it! Alright then. So we're out. Okay. 
Okay, so it's really quiet. Oh, great. The light from the nearby vendor stall stabs into your eyes, triggering your throb, triggering the throb of it in the back of your skull. You stop short, squinting. Rough voices drift into the wind. Where's everyone else? Where's the damn shipment? Haven't seen, uh, haven't seen them yet. We just got here. I was irritated. Longway's probably waiting for us so we can haul it out of the boat for him. That lazy bastard. Let's just hang out here and let him find us. So we're on the stroll through Smuggler Central. These gangers don't know we're here. We could probably just slip past. Or we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Well, I'd better take them out now while we've uh, got the other surprise on our side. On aware hostiles are on the screen, press the unholst button to enter turn based combat mode. I am genuinely with her. Move crate. Let's see what we can do here. So it gives me a route through. Let's have a look. So where's the unholster button? So that's the party. Got zero karma to spend at the moment. Um, oh, there it is. Sorry, it's behind my microphone button. Of all places for it to be. Control mode. My baby there. Let's try and drop the street. Ooh, oh, good shot. Like I said, I like the game. Let's use the aim shot and try and make sure it's okay. There we go. Pick up. Uh, take it. Take it. Take the healing stuff. Yep, karma gained one. Let's see where we're actually going. As right now, I was trying to work out where the hell I'm going. So unless I'm actually supposed to go up here? Ah, okay. Fair bit space. Oh, there's a little something over here. I'm going to sort out my computer for the next um, playthrough. Oh, and if you wonder about the symbol, it's actually called New Yen. Not yen, but it is basically just yen. It, it's Japanese currency. The game is sort of like um, 
if America and Japan became one country. So it's the United States of uh, Japan Nemica. San Fran Tokyo. Uh, yeah, San Fran Tokyo. Because you can make a show figure of a loitering plaza head, troll, orc, dwarf, elf, two men, two women. They're different smokers on the dock. So a troll, an orc, a dwarf, and an elf walk into a bar. You can see they've made token attempt to conceal their weapons. Is it clear? We're strapped, mind your manners. We stands up tall, to, uh, takes the amused tone he gets whenever he's standing toe to toe with someone bigger, someone who doesn't know they're about to go down. Hmm. In hey, folks, you got permits for those bazookas? The thick troll pulls his mouth into a comic frown. Permits? Hmm, give me a minute. He makes a show of patting his pockets. Nope, guess not. I must have dropped mine in a dumpster, along with the last two idiots who st uh, stepped to us. Wu coolly surveys the scene, nods in a friendly fashion. Is that right? Well then. You can almost feel Wu's cop training kick in. It's like watching a drone execute a command routine. He reaches for his rifle, brings it up quick, but it's too late. By the time it hits shoulder level, the assortment of nasty looking ordnance is already trained on his head. That is a lot of weapons. Hmm. Carter backs him up. She whips her arms forward, fist blades, magical fire. Her eyes sweep the scene, darting from one to another. Alright, everyone just be cool. A little late for that, isn't it? Raise your weapon too. Nah, it's never too late to be cool. Listen, guys, my stomach's doing somersaults. How about we all put our guns down before someone gets hurt? And palms out. How about no one does anything stupid? We just want to talk. Hands in pocket. I don't need to draw a weapon to actually attack, so... I've got my drone right there. That guy looks like he'd use an enema. Something we can do for you, officer? It's turn says cooling controls. I look for an old man, Raymond Black. We were supposed to meet him here, you know? Mm-hmm. So at the edge. You can see a vein in his temple start to pulse. Where is he? Easy, Duncan. Troll maintains amused eye contact, but his weapon stays trained on Wu. That's right, easy, Duncan. Your friend Raymond never showed. We've been waiting for the better part of an hour. Who are you? Think, you think everyone can put their guns down? Who are you? No one you want to mess with. So he's still focused on Duncan. The little girl chimes in, her tone is light, she tries to use the We do odd jobs, for money. So you were his tour guides, right? What do you want with you? Keep talking. Keep talking. You needed friends, and heavily armed kind. The old man hired us to take you all on a little excursion. I do. His moment looks them over. Oh, so a cybered up troll, an orc girl with magic fetishes. Ooh, uh. A dwarf with a cyber deck slung on her back, and a tall man standing behind them, inscrutable. All with guns trained on Wu. Understanding spread across his face, short signs. Your shadow runners. Mm hmm. This is bullshit. Raymond would never hire shadow runners. They're criminals. Wow. The troll corrects him. Mercenary operatives. Dwarf cuts her voice soft but strong. Criminal mercenary operatives. Yeah, but. If you don't know the law, shadow runners are people who've gone off the off the grid. They don't pay taxes, but at the same time, they don't actually they don't formally exist, um, so they can disappear really quickly. And that might sound cool, but it means they don't actually have any backup by the government. Now the government's corrupt, but it does keep people safe. But it means that they have freedom to function in society. So, yeah, you were right. Your buddy Raymond was associated with a bunch of hardened criminals. Sorry to burst your bubble, Lone Star. Guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought, huh? Off, but he's struggling to process the information. You can feel the heat coming off of him. Resonance 2, they tend to look tight. They keep, uh, they're keyed on Duncan, and their guns are big. They look, the looks on their face made clear. One wrong bead of sweat, and Wu's going down in a red mist of cloud. Let's all stay focused. No need for this to get ugly. We need to find Raymond. These are the people who can help us. This is about money, right? Let's talk money. What we hired to do. She's right. Let's focus on Raymond. This is about money, right? Let's talk about money. I like talking about money. 
tell the orc girl's had enough of the tension, she blurts down. The old man wants us to take you to Kowloon Walled City. Hand at the three of you. You two! Two large rats clinging on a hip and shoulder poke their heads out of the folds of her clothing. The beady eyes on you. You know the Walled City? Slum, right? Heard of it. No, what's Walled City? Isn't this Kowloon City? Uh, Slum, right? Heard of it. Girl sneers, rolling her eyes. It's a shithole, the worst slum in the Eastern Hemisphere. Memories of growing up in the Redmond Barrens flash through your mind. We get it, it's a real bad place. Now why would the little old man pay you to take him there? Wouldn't say, he mumbled a lot too. Just kept rambling on about how he had to get in. Under ordinary circumstances, I never could have accepted the gig. The walled city is the last place I want to go. But the old man rolled a truckload of New Year and got and you got to eat, right? Glancing at you, his weapon remains trained on the Shadow Runners, but the flicker is actually uh, plays across his face. Seems like a good time to ramp down uh, the threat of violence, don't you think? Let's say believe you. What now? Why do I really want to enter? Let's reduce the threat of violence. Let's all be calm. There's four of you and three of us in a robot. So I'll say 3.5. Violence us no warmth. Okay, gang, I'll tell you what. Those of you team slowly starts to lower his weapons. We're all gonna put our guns down. Shit! Okay, fuck. Um. I did not expect that to happen. Where the fuck are the snipers? That's the question. Rifle shots out in the air. Carter, the troll, and the silent elf lie dead in widening pools of blood. Their heads broken open like melons dropped from a four story building. Damn, that is good shooting, whoever it was. Nightjar, Nightjar, come on, big man, torch, gun shot. No, no. Shuns the wall for us while I'm here. Oh shit, is this isn't good. Off and around. At least lay down your weapons, put your hands behind your head, and come out where we can see you. Duncan, the Duncan Wu, Cad McKay. Come out where we can see you. You have three seconds. Stand to and law enforcement, Lone Star, Lone Star. As you're in deeper into cover by a hail of gunfire. Save your breath, they won't listen. Keep your eyes, these bastards aren't here to make a rest. A sniper shot hits the wall and lets her head shower in her explosion of plaster. They don't have any hurt. We need to hit now. Back to work. We need to go out Just give me a minute. The rat girl stares at the ground intensely, as if listening. Then her brows furrow, her eyes go beady, and her nose rolls up. She begins to sway back and forth, her lips moving soundlessly. A shaman, so... Okay, I've got a way out. It's at the end of the street. Everyone, come with me. We don't need the renter cops, Gobbert. We're the only ones. The extra firepower is, I got us an exit, but we got to get past the heat. And we can't shoot our way out of this on our own, if nothing else, they can soak a few rounds for us. Just stick to cover and keep close, there's a door down the street that leads to the back alley, that's our right point, fall behind and get left behind. Okay then. So... Oh, there's the cop I'm going to deal with, it's an access point. So I pulled there. There we go. Nice heavy colour for my Let's get the dump forward with a good shooter. Okay, so we've got Orc Girl. Yeah, she's a shaman. I do remember listening a few years ago to people complaining about Shadowrun, saying that it's not cyberpunk because of the mixture of fantasy magical elements. But to be honest, that's kind of the point of the series. It's mixing that cybernetic future with. It's mixing that hard won future with uh, magic. Go. So much forward. Enemy. Shit. Ah. 
あぼすがだねShots the face, that's what that spirit is. Let's see. Can't use any spells. Deactivate the drones. Police drones power down. Fantastic. So don't have to worry about any police drones. Which is always good. Dick. I might be able to use the access point to actually get a slightly different effect at least. So send remote command to override local drones IFF routine. Police drones are now in your previous orders and fire on the masters. I love that in response. Or... Alright. You know let's rush Duck forward. That guy is just gonna die this round. And then I've got my spirit. Spirit, so bollocks. Okay. That is a lot going down. Keep moving forward now. 
Ah, so that's what we need to get to, the escape. Anyway, everyone can move at the moment, so... So, once... We get to background to fight in half a damage, actually not going to get to our character's turn. I'm just trying to stay in cover just in case. Some more enemies. Yeah. You need my drone. You have to deal with her. Drone to The patch got soft there. But that's not a permanent thing that does go. It's an item, like a, any kind of healing item. Let's get Duncan into heavy cover. Try people going, why are you trying to do the combat? But to me, finishing the combat is more important than just running. And the reason is fairly simple, these guys are, this game's, if it's anything like the previous game, these guys won't stop. If I don't take them out now, I'll be dealing with that later. Let's see if we can put two attacks down. There you go, one. And there he's bleeding. Going. It's 
more like unlimited ammo, but you need to reload your weapon over and over again. Ah, come on, douchebag. Shit. Okay, set to follow. Hey! Oh god, I've got to get everyone out individually. end it there everyone so i hope you enjoyed uh the first episode of my shadow run let's play uh you kind of get the idea for the world at least and you can see how everything works so hopefully you come back to us next time and see what's happening if you like this please leave a like please leave a comment in the comment section below uh i love reading all your comments i love uh uh, re uh, seeing what you guys think of these, if it works, if it doesn't work. I want to make content that you will enjoy, that you guys want to come back and watch. So please tell me what it is you want to see, and I will happily provide that if that's within the realm of the direction for my YouTube channel. I know a lot of people have said they want to see more uh, board games, so absolutely we've got more board games coming in the works, more tabletop RPGs, and if this is the kind of game you like watching me review, or walkthrough or whatever it is that I'm doing, let's play. Please come back, tell me, and until then, like, subscribe, follow in the uh, links in the description below to the game Steam page and everything else. And as always, thank you so much for joining us. Now, get out of my house. Bye! <laughs>